Welcome Aquarius and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. Please know that time is fluid. That means for you this could resonate as a past, as a present, or a future situation if it does not resonate. And even if it does, be sure to check out your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs for additional messages and guidance. Okay. Uh, the deck here it does say, I'm so attracted to you, but we needed to let each other go. I'm afraid to contact you. Okay. I mean, they're not saying, I want to let you go. They're saying, we need to. There's a lot of attraction, okay, between you and this person. But they're afraid to contact you right now. I can feel you leaving me behind. It's time for me to heal now. I wish I could share my good news with you. So it definitely feels like to me that for those of you that resonate with this reading, this person may not be currently be in contact with you. There could be some kind of distance here. This person does want to tell you something positive. There could be some positive things happening in their life right now. They're trying to keep their distance, but they're having a hard time really struggling with that, missing this connection with you. Knowing they should be focused on themselves, but they can't help but think about you in this connection. Clear messages and guidance, please. What needs to be known, seen, understood? What is the energy here, please, for the collective Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right, your energy, your person's energy, what's between you and this person, the obstacle or challenge, their thoughts, their feelings, their intentions, and what actions can you expect from this person? All right, under the deck is the Eight of Cups with the Judgment, Six of Cups, Five of Wands, King of Cups. Okay. So, <clears throat> we have a little bit of everything here, but we do have, you know, really strong water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We also have a little bit of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I think this person walked away from you and from this situation, but that's not something that they actually wanted to do. I feel like it was really hard for this person to distance themselves from you, but they felt they, didn't, they, they felt they didn't, at the time they didn't have a choice, okay? Um, they made a decision, maybe for the sake of, you know, children, okay, Six of Cups. Maybe they went to go back to reconcile something. But where there may have been a lot of conflict for some of you, there could have been like a, um, a battle for custody or some kind of arguments in regards to children or arguments in regards to the past. And so this person felt they had to walk away from this connection. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I feel like you see this person as someone who is very prideful, someone who really cares a lot about their appearances. I think some of you fear that this person doesn't care about you or this connection. That maybe you didn't mean as much to them as you as they meant to you. But I don't think that's actually, actually the case here. There's a lot of intense emotions. I think that you do not want to be the one that comes in here and tries to initiate something between the two of you. You're holding back, hoping that this person will take action. Or find the courage to approach you. In your person's energy, they're, it's interesting because they're on the opposite side of it. They're waiting to see what you are going to do. This person is hoping that you will find a way to reach out to them, to communicate with them, to come and see them, possibly travel for some of you with that three of wands there. Yearning, wishing, waiting, and anticipating, waiting for that ship to come in, hoping for it. You see this woman, again, male or female, gender is irrelevant here, but she's standing on this dock and she's looking out, waiting for her ship to come in. Uh, we see someone else's boats coming in, but that's not what she's looking for. She's looking distantly, hoping that she's going to see that ship come across the horizon. Between you and this person, you're both very curious about each other. Now, for some of you, don't get offended if this is not you, but for some of you, you definitely could be watching each other or trying to kind of check up on each other, whether just energetically or even online. Um... And what I mean energetically is, you know, if you're ever sitting thinking, you know, what's going on with this person, you know, why are they silent, why are they holding back, are they thinking about me, you know, you could really try to be tapping into your own personal intuition, trying to understand what's going on with this person, seeking clarity, seeking answers, much as they are also wondering about you. The issue here is, I feel like there was a very intense connection between you and this person. 
there's an element of temptation, but for some of you, this could be forbidden love. Maybe for whatever reason, you're not meant to be together. Some of you, it could be different cultures, religions, maybe different, come from different, very different backgrounds. For some of you, I mean, it could have been that maybe there was already an existing partnership or promise or like, um, for some of you, I'm getting like arranged marriage. Again, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But the thing is, is that this person's saying, they're not saying, I want to let you go. They're saying, we need to let each other go. You know, there is this very intense, like straightaway attraction between you and this person. But I'm afraid to contact you because I know that I should be keeping my distance and I can feel you moving on. You know, I'm trying to heal and focus on myself, but I can't, I keep so distracted. I keep thinking about you and this person keeps being scared that you're not coming in, that you're moving on. They're hoping. It's like they know that they shouldn't want this connection with you. They should be focused on other things, letting you move on, letting you heal. But they can't seem to let you go no matter how hard they try. They wish you could just talk to you even as just friends or whatever. Whatever they've got going on is positive happening for them. They want to talk to you about it. They want to know what's going on with you too. When this person thinks about you, thinking about you as the Queen of Cups. No, male or female doesn't matter. Queen of Cups is this very nurturing, loving, compassionate, empathetic person. Someone who's very healing and very patient, very understanding. And you were that to this person. There's a lot of love here. Now, in their feelings, they're feeling really confused. I think this person is trying to kind of identify, you know, what they're really feeling for you right now. Maybe it's just like almost like they're trying to talk themselves out of it because wouldn't that make it easier for them if they could just write off their feelings because it does feel like a very complex or complicated situation. It's like, you know, maybe it's just less. Maybe these feelings will pass. I mean, I've never felt this way before. Maybe it's just a strong infatuation. Maybe it's, you know, maybe it's just this or maybe it's just that. But they cannot help but kind of cope, go back and keep reflecting about these feelings they have for you, this desire they have for you, this immediate, very intense attraction. They could also be feeling very conflicted and confused because maybe they feel they have many options or choices. Now, their intentions, however, though, with the Eight of Wands, I do feel this person wants to communicate with you. They may try to just come in, like, kind of nonchalant, like, you know, oh, how have you been? I got a new job, or, oh, you know, we got this, or we got that, or, you know, oh, you know, I was up for that promotion, I was able to get it. I, I feel like this person just wants to be able to kind of come in with something and kind of, you know, feel the silence, and they don't want to come in with straight heaviness, like, listen, I know that I did wrong, or I know that I did this, or I know that this went right bad. It's like they want this encounter, this opportunity to speak with you again, to be something that's more on the positive side. Or they're hoping that, that that may kind of lighten the heaviness about the circumstances here between you and this person. But I do see that this person could already be involved in another situation or they're worried that maybe you've already moved on. Um, I'm going to pull some additional cards though, get some more information. So tell us please Spirit, what is going on for the collective Aquarius? Okay, we got four cards. So we have Not Today. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, avoiding a call or a person, boundaries, or still angry. Twin flames, yin and yang, zen, balance, union, duality, coupling, and complement each other. And for some of you, that is why you have that intense attraction. The runner, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, or listening to ego. And then we have soulmates, soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. And now when I get these two cards, for some of you, okay, maybe just, you know, 10, 15% of you, it could be that maybe this person is your twin flame, but they may already be with a soulmate, soulmate maybe like a karmic soulmate or something. And that is why they're so torn. They still feel they have this karmic unfinished soul contract with this other person. But, you know, they feel this undeniable connection with you. They're saying right now, I know I cannot deal with this. I'm trying to run from this connection because, again, when we get that twin flame and runner, you know, it definitely could be like a divine masculine energy that you're dealing with. But this person has been kind of avoidant because of this current circumstances. They may still be involved with someone, but this person does want to reach out to you because they're going crazy. Thinking about you, thinking about this connection, 
you know, just, I know that I shouldn't want this. I know that I shouldn't contact you. I'm afraid that you're just going to reject me. Maybe you, maybe you don't even want to hear from me after everything that's happened, but this person can't help, but they're, they're really hoping that you're going to reach out to them. And for some of you, I already know you're sitting there shaking your head, mystic. It's not going to be me. You can say that all you want. No one's telling you what to do. You have free will to always choose to decide whatever you want to do. It doesn't matter what I say, what another reader on YouTube says. It doesn't matter if you have a private reading. Ultimately, you still have free will to decide what you do or do not want to pursue. But in hopes that these um, readings can kind of help give you insight to kind of help you prepare for whatever choice you need to make. Um, I feel like this person could still be involved or in some kind of serious situation. Whatever obstacles were present before are still there, but I do see this person trying to reach out, trying to make contact with you because they just can't let go. So that's what I have for you. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.